In this video, we're gonna be learning how to find limits from a table. When given a function's table of values, we can estimate a limit at a particular value by noticing what values the function is approaching. We need to consider both the left and the right-hand limits to do this. So let's examine a table of values below for a function f of x. If we look at the table of values, we have x values from negative three to three, although we are missing zero there and we have the corresponding y or f of x values. So it says, what's our guess for the limit of x approaches zero of f of x? And we're gonna explain. So we need to consider the left and the right hand limit. So that means as we approach, because imagine zero in here, as we approach zero from the left, what y value are we getting close to? And as we approach zero from the right, what y value are we approaching? So I can see that is going two, three, four, and then eight, seven, six. So a logical guess here would be that the limit is five because both the left and right hand limits appear to be five. Now, I would say that we can make a good guess there that that limit is five, um, but we don't necessarily know for sure. It could be something very close to five. So the table below here represents the same exact function, f of x, and it says since the x values are much closer to the value of x we are approaching, we can verify our guess from above. So now take a look at this same function, but we're looking at different x values. We're looking very, very close to zero, the number that our limit is approaching. So before, yeah, we were looking at some numbers close, but this is much closer. Look how small some of these decimals are. So we have from negative 0.1, negative 0.01, negative 0.001, and on the right from 0.1 to 0.01 to 0.001. And now we can really see again that we are in fact approaching five. So we need something between 4.999 and 5.001, and that is in fact five. Now let's consider a different function. So g of x is x plus two over x squared minus four. Create a table of values to estimate the limit as x approaches two of g of x to three decimal places. So you're gonna to need to grab your graphing calculator for this, and I'm gonna to go to my y equals and I'm going to type in our function. Once I have that typed in, I am just gonna to go to the graph. Now we might be able to identify the limit from the graph, but the purpose of this problem is to do it by a table of values, so we're still gonna complete the table. So let's take a look at this here. We wanna create a table of values to estimate the limit as x approaches two. So almost imagine two is sandwiched in in the middle of this table. We've gotta come up with some numbers really close to it. So maybe to the left, I wanna do like 1.999 and 1.99 and 1.9, right? We wanna get as close to two as possible. And then maybe to the right, cause we need to look at the left and right hand limits, maybe 2.001, 2.01, and 2.1. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna evaluate these. So the way that I like to do it, rather than changing my table of values in the calculator, is I'm gonna hit the second button, then trace, and I'm gonna pick choice one value. Okay, this is how we calculate something. And I wanna know the value at 1.9, so I'm typing in 1.9 there, hit enter, and I can see that I got y1 is negative 10. All right, let's try another one. Second trace, 1.99, and I got negative 100. And now I'm gonna try it with 1.999. negative 1,000. So I can see that these numbers are going increasingly low, okay, you're almost approaching negative infinity. Let's see what happens on the right. So I'm gonna try the same values, 2.001, 
I have 1,000. You probably could guess what these other outputs are, but we're gonna check them. 2.01 is 100. And 2.1 gives us 10. So let's look at the left and the right hand limits. From the left, we appear to be approaching negative infinity, right? The numbers just keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller. However, from the right, we keep approaching bigger numbers, which leads us towards positive infinity. So since these limits are not the same, we are going to say that the limit as x approaches to of g of x, we're gonna say, does not exist, D-N-E. If we did find a limit, we would round to three decimal places. That's going to be our default, um, unless it says otherwise. But here, the limit does not exist. So I have limit as x approaches to of g of x does not exist. Let's look at some more practice questions. Number one, select values of the function f of x are shown in the table below. Estimate the limit as x approaches zero of f of x to the nearest hundredth. So imagine zero sandwiched in here. Look at what your left hand values are approaching. Look at what your right hand values are approaching. And we wanna to estimate to the nearest hundredth. That means two places past the decimal point. So I feel pretty confident looking at this that the limit as x approaches zero of f of x is equal to 3.65. Number two, select values of the function h of x are shown in the table below. Estimate the limit as x approaches four of h of x to the nearest hundredth. So again, we're gonna imagine four kind of sandwiched in here. Look at what our x values are approaching. Notice that 0.75 is staying constant, but the thousandth and the 10 thousandth place are getting smaller, right? We had the two, three, the one, nine, and now zero, four. And over here, we seem to be approaching 0.75 from the opposite direction. So I'm gonna say that my limit as x approaches four of h of x is equal to 0 0.75. All right, number three, consider the function g of x equals x squared plus five x minus 24. Create a table of values to estimate the limit as x approaches three of g of x to the nearest thousandth. All right, so I'm gonna to go to my y equals and type this in. So I have x squared plus five x minus 24 over x minus three. Okay, and I'm gonna to go to the graph. All right, I wanna come up with some x values that are close to three. So imagine three in the middle of your table. So I'm gonna do 2.999, 2.99, and 2.9. And to the right of three, I'm gonna do 3.001, 3.01, and 3.1. Now, just like we did before, I'm going to use second trace, choice one value to find all of those measurements or all those y values, excuse me. So here we got that y is y one is 10.9. Okay, I'm gonna repeat this process for each of these values. And generally when you're doing this, it should be pretty noticeable what we are approaching. You shouldn't have to make too much of a guess here. And finally, I'm gonna do 3.1. All right, so I'm gonna look at what are we approaching from the left? What are we approaching from the right? and I see that it looks like we are approaching 11. So since it's asked to the nearest thousandth, I'm going to say that my limit as x approaches three of g of x is equal to 11.000. All right, for our last question, consider the function f of x equals one over x. We're gonna create a table of values to estimate the limit as x approaches zero of f of x. So I'm going to type this into my y equals now. We're gonna imagine zero sandwiched in the middle, and we're gonna come up with our x values for our table. So again, remember that we wanna pick numbers that are really close to zero, 
okay? We don't want to pick things really far away, like negative five and negative two would be a little too far away. We're going to pick really close numbers in order to enhance our accuracy. So I'm going to do negative 0 0.001, negative 0 0.01, negative 0 0.1. And I'm going to reverse that on the other side, 0 0.001, 0 0.01, and 0 0.1. All right, I'm now going to find each of those values. So at negative 0.1, I have negative 10. At negative 0.01, I have a negative 100. And at negative 0 0.001, I have negative 1,000. This is starting to look familiar to one of the problems on the front, right? If I take a look at this now, let's do our y values for the positive um, x values in our table. All right, we can see here we are approaching negative infinity from the left. We're approaching positive infinity from the right. Remember, for a general limit to exist, the left and the right-hand limits must be equal. We don't have that here. So I'm going to say the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x does not exist.